if you don't pray at night you are not a prayer warrior there are many people today claiming a prayer warrior is not somebody who prays in the prayer band on tuesday a prayer warrior is somebody who has an altar that is known by the gates of hell known by heaven and known by the result it commands among men what time did jesus pray go and read your bible jesus would get up and impregnate his day because the morning is like a woman with a womb you can impregnate her and then step back and watch as she delivers for you in the day please receive grace to conquer the spirit of slumber in the name of jesus i decree and declare that every force fighting anyone's prayer life here especially if you have the call of god upon your life i decree over your life that altar that fights your prayer life i crush it down now i crush it down now message you're about to listen to, Apostle Joshua Selman explains why certain prophecies do not manifest in the life of a believer. Please be blessed as you listen. Let's write so we can pray. Let me give you three keys that will help you to live under an open heavens. Number one, please write it. No matter how many times you've listened to this, listen to it again. The first key is a life of fervent and effectual prayer. The first key to living under an open heavens is a life of fervent and effectual prayer. Isaiah 64, please. Isaiah 64. Please give it to us from verse 1. Effectual prayer. Prayer that must be strategic. Listen, let me tell you. Many believers, I can tell you, do not have a consistent prayer life. Many have a prayer life. The problem is the consistency. Look at me. When you give birth to a baby, the mother breastfeeds the baby how many times? For as long as the growth process of the child demands. There is no hard and fast rule. There may be some medical guide here and there. But once that baby is crying in need of food, what happens? A good mother that cannot forget a suckling child will have to breastfeed that child and now when the child is weaned from breast milk what happens feeding still continues the consistency of the feeding is what translates to the growth of the person there are loads that this young boy you are seeing cannot carry now give this boy the next nine to ten years he will be able to lift it give this young boy 20 years of eating a time will come he will carry you give him Two more years in addition, he will beat you. Are you, are you seeing the difference now? now? This is somebody that you can beat and kick, meaning spiritually, that's how it is. A life of prayer. Show me a weak believer. You don't know anything. You are a shy, ashamed, confused, scattered person. Set your altars like Elijah and remain there and watch what happens. You may, the secret of prayer, brothers and sisters, look at me. The secret of prayers is not eight hours per day. The secret of prayer is staying. The staying power, it becomes part of the ordinances that run your life. Many believers are fire brigade prayer warriors. The moment you hear something that is alarming, you just crash into God and you sit down for eight hours in one day. Praying and sleeping and praying and sleeping. No, you have to create a culture out of prayer if you want your heavens to be open. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, those who really pray, genuinely with understanding, walk under an open heavens. It's true. You, you can know the, the palpability of their open heavens can be felt. A man can be an accurate Bible study teacher 
but that bible study is not backed up by the ministry of prayer you will feel something it's like there is a resistance the doctrine is sound but the delivery is crippled because the heavens are closed oh that thou wouldest rend the heavens this is not a discussion it's a prayer that thou wouldest come down why that the mountains may may flow down at your presence that you will rend the heavens you get up in the morning thank you jesus this is the day that the lord has made the devil blows the breeze of cold around your life you say the devil you are a liar i'm on my way going somewhere you don't have to make noise for everybody to know you are praying because sometimes you live with people that will be angry and will harass you and 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 it's honest on them someone cannot be working hard and just because you are the roommate you are you are if you are shouting under the anointing at least he can understand you can pray under your breath and command fire that will reach the heavens roast everything on the way till it reaches heaven like the sacrifice of abel it will start as if you are playing while you are praying the devil is trying to toy around with your mind if our generation becomes prayerless we're in trouble hear me oh if our generation becomes prayerless we're in trouble prayer is not everything but in the matters that only prayer can solve there is no replacement you must stay there are times that you don't pray for one week to get that answer you must pray and pray till a day will come you will know that today's prayer was not a usual prayer you will get up as usual and the next thing you wake up and see that you have been under the anointing for a long time you will return back with visions and strategies you will know that God visited me. Do you know why many believers do not have visitations? When you mention visitations, encounters, most believers don't even know. Encounters seldom happen when we are just carelessly sitting around. There must be that spiritual investment of prayer. Prayer is an investment. You have to keep saturating your spiritual climate with prayer. It's like a spiritual bank you are making deposits. Let me tell you, when that cloud is heavy, it's not just over money issues answers will begin to come unfortunately now our generation we need to balance our teachings on prayer because sometimes in a bid to create balance we make mistakes and we're indoctrinating a generation to ignore the ministry of prayer no. he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint my dear ladies pray prayer is not for men prayer is for anybody that wants to reign on earth children pray don't pray and watch children roam around that's why i like it when we fast here and our children join us and all of that teach them to pray samuel was under the spiritual climate of eli forget that his eyes started becoming dim eli was always at the altar praying and Samuel could afford to lie down close to the altar and he benefited from the track record the spiritual investment of Eli and he had a voice Samuel and he got up went to Eli and he received a blueprint of his destiny a husband that does not pray will have a nonsense family let me tell you in this day and age it's not enough for men to just have money you must be a praying priest not just a speaking priest there are many speaking priests you've heard me say it i challenge the men and by men i don't just mean married men alone i challenge the men take spiritual responsibility over your climate your children are sleeping and everybody is sleeping Shakos katabata. let them be used to hearing your voice in the night go and lay hands on them they want to wake up say no you just sleep let them know it as part of the incense let it be your evening sacrifice People watch films overnight. Have you seen that happen in many families? I mean in the night or night vigil of films. One will finish, they will slot it back. If you do this kind of thing in this generation, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you will be too weak to prevail. It's a guarantee that I give you. 
you want to do ministry especially and stand against do you know the forces of darkness that fight an average man of god oh come on have you seen bees have you seen one you do drop honey somewhere or drops apple or something and see the amount of hungry reptiles and everything coming to fight that's how you are there are forces day and night that will fight tooth and nail to capsize the work of God upon your life you must pray and then you need fresh grace this our generation is allergic to staleness once they mark you as a stale man of God they will punish you in ministry for being stale they will punish you with lack of invitations are we together now nobody will invite you to come for his or her conference and convention to just come and deliver nonsense you must be fresh he says the fire upon the altar must burn day and night it must not go off that means you must have the eyes to see when the coal is dying so that you trust god for grace again to put more coals now it is my dealing with god and i have no rights to just impart it on you but let me tell you I've explored this prayer thing a little and I can tell you if you don't pray at night you are not a prayer warrior there are many people today claiming a prayer warrior is not somebody who prays in the prayer band on Tuesday a prayer warrior is somebody who has an altar that is known by the gates of hell known by heaven and known by the result it commands among men what time did Jesus pray go and read your Bible Jesus would get up and impregnate his day because the morning is like a woman with a womb. You can impregnate her. And then step back and watch as she delivers for you in the day. Please receive grace to conquer the spirit of slumber. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every force fighting anyone's prayer life here, especially if you have the call of God upon your life, I decree over your life that altar that fights your prayer life. I crush it down now. I crush it down now. Men ought always to pray sensitivity is built in the place of prayer says listen listen if you are whether a prayer band leader a group fellowship leader listen to me many group fellowship leaders are the least prayerful people just because you pray in the group is usually for ego your the true strength of your prayer is what you do alone when no one is seeing you not just when you can do a night vigil and a group leader can stand and pray just because he's praying for the people to hear you must trust god so that men don't lie to you they can put pressure on you but when you are alone there are encounters you don't have in a corporate system you have to be alone lord i'm awake again one day becomes one week one week becomes one month one month becomes one year one year becomes two years and heaven is watching and saying i think we need to measure a thousand cubits to this man we have seen the grace we have seen the consistency in the rain you are praying in the sun you are praying on that ac you are praying you are trusting god for grace and god knows you are human so sometimes he sees the way sleep has whipped you and you drag yourself in the name of the lord whatever skill you can employ use worship use whatever find one of my messages that i was shouting and drumming every slumber whatever you can do it is your responsibility to invent the skills that keep you prayerful don't assume you will be prayerful just because you are anointed it is a lie from the pit of hell i tell you this listen i live a very busy schedule so i can tell you very busy schedule you must intentionally trust god for grace and a strategy if not your spiritual life will go down while you are rising i return from a trip now tomorrow is my younger brother's wedding yes Praise the Lord. By the way, pray for our family. Adorable young man. And he's going to be getting married tomorrow. I'm here now, this night. I had to go and see them when I returned back from my trip. 
from Abuja. I went to Jaws to see them, make sure everything is well. Came back here to preach. I'm still going to see people this night. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I'm on my way to Jaws. I'm even just going to show my face at the service and move because I'm going to Gombe. There is a conference from Gombe. I'm going to Abuja, returning back again here. And then I have a meeting with Nathaniel Bassi. And then everybody say ministry. Say breakthrough. That is the killer of anointings. If you only pray inside a plane, your prayer, the, the demons in Africa, let me tell you something. My brothers and my sisters, we come from regions that require seriousness. You must let the devil know you are serious for him to let you go. Even Jesus finished fasting and Satan came and said, what, what are you talking about? Jesus' is fasting invited Satan. A man finishes fasting for 40 days and the first person he sees is Satan. And Satan is not shaking and falling. Just sing two choruses, two prayer points, and, and drum your needs and round up. No. no. There are dimensions. I trust that, I don't know, we may not be able to do it this year. We need to train people on the dimensions of prayer. This give me, give me tea, give me bread. Yes, God wants to give you. But these tongues God gave you is a deep mystery. If you are not filled with the Holy Ghost here, as I will always say, with evidence of praying in tongues, fluent tongues, spiritual languages, you have shortchanged your spiritual life. Because there are times that you need to hold on to the horns of the altar. You may not know what is going wrong, but you know something is wrong. And that thing wrong can be the life of your family member under a mess the mercy of a kingdom ambassador someone's life is dangling you you are picking it in the spirit you, you don't know exactly what is wrong that is the time to pray not for 30 minutes until that load is lifted light praise the lord prayer let me give us one more for tonight and then we'll pray so the ministry of prayer the bible says elijah was a man of light passion in other words, Elijah got hungry. In other words, Elijah could sleep. Let me tell you this. Please look at me. If you sense the call of God upon your life, let me tell you, step one is not to look for auditorium. Step one is not to look for an usher or a PA. Step one is not even to look for members. Step one is not to look for the person who will print handbill for you. I am apostle a and b and you disgrace yourself before men and before principalities nothing just happens there is always another prophetess in the temple praying so that jesus will arrive if you see jesus arrive he didn't just come another prophetess was there traveling in the spirit number two sacrifice open heavens the Macedonian church, the Bible says, gave of themselves. You find that in 2 Corinthians from chap chapter 8 from verse 1 to 5. It's talking about their giving. But every time we talk of sacrifice, people think it's all about money. My brothers and my sisters, the first sacrifice is you, not your offering, not your ATM. You can remove your shoe and drop in church and go back. Your shoe is a living sacrifice. But you are not a living sacrifice. God didn't say offer your shoes or offer your head or offer your brain. Are we together now? Yes. I beseech thee brethren by the mercies of God. He says that he offer not even your spirit, your body. What is a sacrifice? Sacrifice suggests anything that is constraining. That means your body will feel it. Let's not lie to ourselves, my brothers and my sisters. The journey to greatness in the spirit will constrain you. A living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. The Bible says that is your reasonable act of worship. Say sacrifice. As a man of God, you will need sacrifice. You are in an office where you are the only believer there. Automatically, you know that Satan has many bodies to be able to manipulate you. You will need to stand at an edge in the spirit through sacrifice. Sacrifice of your life. Sacrifice of your resources. Second Chronicles 7 
verse 1 to 4 let me not we're not going to read the sacrifice of your time a sacrifice is anything that constrains you anything that is not naturally convenient for you to do sacrifice is a covenant in the spirit psalms 50 verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice sacrifice is a covenant it is unfortunately this our proud generation does not respect sacrifice you see people command certain levels of result and you just believe they were he's just the guy just prays god just gave him grace for prayer the guy just heals maybe he was fortunate to just meet benny Hinn. no we need to be people who respect sacrifice are we together now gather unto me my saints but among those saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice let me tell you this whether it is a sacrifice of your seed whether it is a sacrifice of your life there is a way you can sacrifice your life in the service of god you have donated yourself to god let me see the devil that will come to bring shame and reproach to your life they will obey if they obey and serve me they obey and serve me huh the bible says they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure service there are people in this ministry let me tell you before the devil touches them maybe a nation would have been dead first because of the way they have carried themselves like an offering the same way you put offering inside a basket they, they wrap themselves inside an envelope and drop themselves and say god take i've donated myself the devil comes near god if, if i if i see you near this world because my kingdom is being promoted there are many givers who don't sacrifice if i'm a millionaire and i'm giving hundred hundred thousand is that a sacrifice that's, that's donation sacrifice of prayer there are people who it is their life's ministry to pray for me i know it and i see it sometimes in the spirit let me see the devil that will go to touch them god say ah, this boy this girl this mama is praying for me day and night oh god fresh fire and then one devil wants to come and take their life that's when you will know that there are angels on god listen to what i'm telling you it is true sacrifice john the beloved he loved jesus so much look at what happened unusually in his life when you study bible history they carried him and dropped him inside boiling oil hot boiling oil like you are frying egg and that guy just sat down inside that oil he sat down inside the oil everything they tried to do he was just watching them and they said let's leave him in an island just dropped him in an island called patmos and there the visions of god was given to him what of daniel they conspired to punish that guy when he stepped into the lion's den an angel appeared is it not in your bible and said you, you come lion come daniel didn't kill the lion daniel had an angel you mustn't kill lions they can be stopped an angel appeared and said daniel no so there are touch not so it's true he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not mine anointed do my prophets no harm there are some of you you have represented altars to your family the darkness that usually will come to every time they want to come they see your face and god said i still have an ambassador in that family have you seen a dog try to pick something and you are standing there he will go around try to touch it but he remembers you are there he will turn and go around and you are there somebody is standing like an altar through sacrifice to your family there are people because of their sacrifice god has vowed that they will never beg 
you will be surprised to see how much they continue to disobey financial principles but when god is blessing people he will share it in a way that he must go around and you are angry god come on this is disobedience before everybody and god will say there's something they did though when they were roofing a church the young lady emptied her 2000 naira account and dragged it like a fool and came and said god take and god said you gave me 2000 you're all i have vowed you must marry a rich man you will be surprised this thing i'm saying you will think is sarcastic gentleman just stroll around and goes mm, i'm not the will for you not because there's anything wrong with marrying whoever but just god you use see everything god gave you you can make a ladder out of it ah. your seed can become a ladder your life can become a ladder this man you are seeing let me tell you i submit to you in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god this man you see is a bank of sacrifice if you look at my hands what you are going to see dripping is blood there is nothing i cannot give god and there is nothing i will not give so when you see the little things god is doing here and there don't think it's luck before you admire any man's resolve find out first some of you god can tell you this brother is a prayer warrior but i'm here to teach him about finances for my name's sake take him home and you cast the voice you shared grace you sang praise and worship you even fell down but the voice to sacrifice something mm -mm, lord i didn't hear you don't allow just because people make wrong these principles does not mean that it is not a mystery when god wanted sons he carried jesus put him on an altar and sacrificed him the result he brought a harvest of many sons into glory when you sacrifice your time you will get something out of that time that is worth it the law of sacrifice is important in this kingdom there is no such thing as something for nothing i'm telling you this believe me it's not true as cheap salvation is the cheapest thing you can find in this kingdom and even that you must give god your time and your attention and then come and make a commitment the sacrifice of your ego is what you must drop on the line to receive with meekness is god speaking to us now yes sacrifice is a language our generation does not like people come to church and after one hour they are frowning at the man of god as soon as they share the grace they will stand to gossip or talk about their needs behind a truck near the church for three hours that means they were not tired it was a spirit that was robbing them people hurry up in services as soon as the service is over they go and open the boot of their car and bring out bread and puff puff <laughs> and hug puff puff for two hours and not be tired Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but one thing is needful. One thing is needful to sit down and receive something by sacrifice. Nothing great just comes at a platter. Please let's not lie to ourselves. Where is he? This is a doctor. They didn't dash him. They didn't hang. They the Nigerian Association of, I think, medical students or so in, in Lagos, they gave me, they did a, a, a false induction for me and they made a stethoscope customized. I've not used it till, till now. The, the first time I tried the thing, I said, what in the world is going on? I'd rather hear the voice of God than the voice of my heart. <laughs> I mean, are we together? This is a doctor. How he looks, notwithstanding, whether you like him or not, is a doctor. After years of laborious study, are we together? He has earned the right to give you injection. Turn, he will turn, and he will give you injection because he has earned the right. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That's right. That's how people have earned the right through sacrifice, too. They can look at you and say, God, have mercy on this, and you'll be surprised. You have been praying for two weeks. 
oh god mercy oh god mercy and somebody says lord i join my faith you know this issue of i'm praying for you now because of how powerless we are is not even working again during the days of our fathers when an anointed man says he's praying for you you rejoice jesus said peter satan desired to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith faileth not he said and when you are converted strengthen your brethren how by praying for them too paul said for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you he's praying for the church you can pray for people my brothers and my sisters when you pray for men you take advantage of the climate of your open heavens and stretch it towards them like i can send you recharge card are we together i have 10 naira you have zero naira i can transfer two naira and it will get to your phone and your phone will be empowered and you will start work you didn't go to buy it but by the abundance of the supplies of that which i have i have given it to you listen healing is not the only thing that is transferable are we together spiritual climates you can share climates that's the reason why you can pray alone and after 10 minutes you are tired and one day somebody that has a real solid grace for prayer says come let's pray and even you you are surprised that four hours has passed the first 30 minutes will look like hellfire you are wondering this guy is still singing and i'm already tired no water in this place no food and this guy just let's let's continue is I, I usually pray for two hours and after 30 minutes you feel like dying but something will happen to you by the time your body gets weak to a level it will give up and there will be an ascendance in your spirit immediately you will find out that you who believe you will not survive one hour you are even the one that will tell him should we not go and pray tomorrow then you go back to the weak people you left before and wonder that you have been praying for 10 minutes just like them he said let's round up he said are you joking we're about to sing play the guitar can your seed become a ladder in the spirit can your heart become a ladder in the spirit your sacrifice is your best it doesn't have to be offered like an offering but it must be handed over to the lordship of christ what's that sinner song my very best lord i give my very best lord i give my very best lord i give to you with all my heart my very best lord i give my very best lord i give my very best lord i remember a year the lord asked me to sow a seed if not that i didn't know the voice of god i will ask the demon to appear first i'll say good let angels help me tie that spirit let me tear the spirit one by one for that kind of ungodly instruction when god demands isaac even you you don't know what part of isaac to carry is it his head is it his hand is it his face god says all of isaac i'm not saying you should sow don't get me wrong and isaac may not always mean your finance your heart is heavier than your money oh. let me tell you it's easier to carry money than to carry your heart many of us think giving god your heart is just giving god your heart is not just born again it's surrender it is painful you carry your heart and drop it on that fire and watch the fire of the holy ghost roast that heart and then it becomes like the bush that was burning you think it will be consumed but the heart becomes purified and you are watching your heart turn to gold and with the heat in that heart god will say now since you gave me let me put it you gave him a cold heart of stone and he picks it and makes gold and he puts that heart and you turn to the nations and you will subdue them because of the fire that has come upon your heart tonight god is calling us you want to see an open heavens get used to sacrifice i believe that god wants us to be comfortable don't get me wrong but this christianity of excessively advocating convenience as the ultimate proof of godliness is a joke when you walk with god every once in a while there will be demands he does it on purpose to make sure he remains lord one day he will tell you to do something that is very painful 
it was painful for abraham to take imagine like pastor alpha telling this adorable boy now say him and his wife two of them forward march to one mountain on the way to kaduna and you see people say pastor alpha is everything all right sir it's all right and they hang this boy and they're about to kill him he said who asked you to do that work he said god do you know the embarrassment and god kept watching he says stop now i know that you feared me he says and i swear by my name that in blessing he said if ye are the children of abraham you will do the works of abraham it's not the works of the law it's the works of faith are we together now we're going to pray this night our time is over but i came tonight to challenge us listen there are benefits to an open heaven it is worth every sacrifice that you commit i wish that i had the grace to share testimonies now it will be wrong for me as a leader to not share testimonies but sometimes i minimize these things because sometimes some testimonies if not managed will end up discouraging you instead of lifting up your spirit but there are things that i will share with you about my life and about what god has done and is doing in this ministry that you will not know whether to cry from your eyes or your mouth or your ears that's what happens you dare a man that is a living sacrifice you will be surprised how god will act like he doesn't know you when aaron and miriam started talking against moses and they were talking all kinds of things the glory came and when it lifted aaron was immune because of his priesthood but miriam became white leprous as white as snow imagine a human being like snow as a warning I was, okay this is i've done this tomorrow you will know that you will not just touch he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed an anointed man is not just do you know how the anointing is made you have to you is a threshing floor you squeeze the, the oil and as you crush that oil the pain but you your focus and under the oil is dripping and it's that oil that is purified that comes upon your head I want you to walk in power and I want you to walk under an open heavens. I told you something, I think the last time I was here it was week before last now. Nobody is greedy. They just don't perceive you to be anointed enough to merit the level of benevolence they have to give. The same person who will complain giving you 100 naira will give another person 5 million and sleep happy that he had the privilege there are benefits to an open heaven there are benefits to sacrifice are you hearing what i'm saying now it will ease your life it is better to pay the price in the presence than to pay the price before men men are wicked people they will punish you and bring all kinds of excuses man of god hear me this running around looking for a name stay in the secret place and let god perfect his workings and his glory upon your life and let me see the power in existence that has the fortitude to mock the integrity of god over your life for his name's sake when he carves his name upon your life he makes it a responsibility to defend himself upon you number of you have come from several places here because of what you've heard that the lord is doing my brothers and my sisters these are not the workings of men they are the workings of god but they are worked out through men men that have become living sacrifices epistles testaments of endurance and tonight i'm calling on you that if you seek to see an open heavens in your life in your ministry then you must among the keys that i've given you there are so many but i'm just giving you two tonight i want us to walk under an open heavens you will know you are under an open heavens multiplied visions some of us you've not dreamt in five months and you think it's normal are we together you don't see anything the only thing you hear is an alarm clock you go back to bed even your spirit sleeps what, what kind of human being are you darkness is looming around you you don't pick any signal till it happens you have 
dreams that have keys in them but you wake up and don't remember them is a revelation of the weakness of your spirit did you hear what i just said that you settle down and have dreams and wake up and you do not have the capacity was that not what happened to the king he slept and he forgot the dream and then another man did not sleep and yet picked the dream a contrast of the health of their spirit hold the hands of someone our time is up